Anyway, I'll explain to you some of the things here because it is a, an exhibition in progress. Uh, Adriano Casanova introduced me to Maria Barro at uh, an art fair called Pinta. Very early this year, I mean around, when was it? May, I think, or June, July. And they said, come to Brazil, you can exhibit in this gallery, and it's very big. And I said, well, I'd like to do a homage to Mondrian and to three Brazilian artists who I knew uh, personally. One is Lija who was my, probably my best friend for two years. One. We lived in Paris at the same time. I lived in a boat, and she lived at the Cité des Arts, and eventually uh, she was living in, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in a, an apartment provided by the Sorbonne. And every day we went around picking up things from the streets, you know, uh, horrified all religious friends, and also the gallery also. That's, and we, we had, it was a very good relationship, it was a real dialogue. In fact, to use that word dialogue is what I would use this exhibition. It's not an exhibition where Adam Nagervis is Australian and directs a, a nomadic museum, a museum man. We work off and on uh, on the Mondrian Tantra uh, subject since 1992, but we don't work as one. It's not like there's some artists that really work as one. We don't, we don't, we have a dialogue. He has his own ideas, I have mine, and sometimes they clash, which just makes it very exciting and interesting. And to some extent, it was very similar also, but to the, ex the uh, uh, relationship between Lija Clark and Elio Tisica, because they did dialogues, you know, they had one using the media script, you know, the quality dialogue. And Oitisika himself had a constant dialogue with Lija Pape. I met Lija Pape very briefly in London during the Latin American art show, of which Guy, uh, actually Guy Brecht was one of the uh, called curators with Don Agents at the Hayward, and we got on like a house and fire also. But, uh, then later on, Adam and I participated in one of her events uh, in New York with another Brazilian artist, Tungo. 